What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego gramophone. So let's take a look at how it works. To begin you'll first need to grab yourself a record and to play the record simply place it in the middle of the turntable, angle the needle on top downwards and turn the handle on the side to play your song. And it's really easy to switch songs, you just change the record, so you just lift the needle up and swap in for a completely different vinyl record and you can play that one just as easily. So of course this doesn't actually play any music, but it's still got this really cool little minifigure scale record playing mechanism that's all built in to the base of the gramophone. And that means that this gramophone is a perfect size for your minifigure scale houses and buildings. And it's just a simple cool little play feature that adds some functionality to an otherwise decorative record player. And either way, it looks just like the real thing. So let's find out how to build it. Here are all of the pieces you're going to need to build your very own working Lego gramophone. And as always, I'll leave links in the description to the sets which contain some of the rarer pieces, such as the gold pieces used for the gramophone itself, and the printed record piece. So you know where to find them in case you don't already own those pieces. But once you've got all of your parts, we'll start with the base of the gramophone. So with this, we can build this up with a 2x3 brick and a corner brick, just like that. And then on opposite side of the corner brick, just use a 1x2. This is where you can attach your 1x1 bricks with the studs on the sides. This will be where we attach the side of the gramophone. And then you can attach a 1x1 plate with the clip on the end over there. A 1x3 plate on the opposite side. And a 1x1 Technic hole brick with the hole facing sideways, just like that. And then we can smooth off the side of the gap with a 1x1 plate. Underneath all of this, we can just raise up the height of the gramophone with a jumper plate. You can obviously use whatever you want for the bottom. It doesn't really matter, it's just to build up some extra height in the structure. So we can put that aside for now, while we build the gear mechanism inside. So for this you'll need a 1x2 bevel gear or a 2x2 bevel gear, one of the half size ones, and then we can slide this through the Technic hole brick that you've built in earlier. So just make sure that's nice and slid through all the way. So there's just a bit sticking out of the side, and this is where you can attach this other Technic piece, and this will act as the handle. Then to finish off the handle, just use a 1x1 Technic axle with the ball on the end. That will just make it look a bit nicer and a bit comfier to spin. So then we can put this aside for now while we build the side of the gramophone. So this is also nice and simple. You can use a 2x4 tile and one of these two high window pieces. And you can also get these exact windows in brown in case you don't want to see the mechanism inside. But I thought it's pretty cool to actually see what's going on inside the gramophone. And again, we can put this aside for now, because next we'll build the top. This is also pretty simple. Decorate it with either some grill bricks or some of the grill tiles like I'm using. And then this bit at the front here, on the front half, the reason I'm using these quarter round one by one tiles is so that there's still enough space for a Technic hole to fit through the middle because that is of course where the turntable is located and it's very important that the Technic axle will fit through there. So we'll use this 1x3 Technic axle with the stud attachment on the top. So on the top is where you can attach your vinyl record and you can see that spins nice and freely but still looks like it's nicely decorated. I think that's a very cool design. And then we can take the second half bevel gear and slide that on underneath, just at the bottom, and now we can start to join everything up. So this can be attached just on top of those two 1x1 bricks, 
this is where you want to move this gear at the bottom up just so it lightly connects to the gear on the side and you can see when you spin it on the side it should spin on top so that's all there is for the actual mechanism itself we can finish off the gap on this side with a 1x4 plate and a 1x2 plate one of the jumper plates with the stud in the middle and a plain 1x2 just to fill in the rest of the space then on this jumper plate this is where you can attach the needle that in real life would play the music on the record and this way you can angle it up using this lever piece and the idea is that would run along the grooves of the record so then with this front panel piece we can attach that on the side to these two one by one bricks and just clip that around the side and you'll see with this window piece there's just enough space for the mechanism to move around when spun around like this and again if you don't want to see that you can always cover up that mechanism with a brown or solid color window panel piece then finally all that's left to do is to build the gramophone itself so this is pretty simple all you've got to do is attach one of these lego tap pieces to a bar piece with the clip on the side and you can place that down for now while we build up the main tube or the trumpet of the gramophone and this is just using a 2x2 two two round satellite dish a fence piece and a cone and that can simply slide on to the end of this tap piece make sure there's enough space for that to be angled up and down and then that way when you attach it onto the base of the gramophone you can angle that and play around with that see what different angles look best and which one is your favorite and when you're done you can place it down and turn the handle and it should work perfectly i hope you enjoyed building your working lego gramophone and if you did be sure to check out my other working lego how to build videos where i build a wide variety of different minifigure scale machines and creations just like this one don't forget to leave the video a like let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to my channel be sure to enable all notifications so you always know when my latest videos are coming out. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.